everybody, welcome to a new episode of Food and the Single Guy with me, your very own Amaru. Now before I continue with the video, I just want to acknowledge a couple of people because apparently there are a ton of people in Jamaica who watch my videos. So to all of them Irie people in Jamaica, big up on yourselves, manas and respect, yaman. Yeah, now let us continue because on this episode of Food and the Single Guy, I am going to show you how we make, in my country, how we make cola syrup. Now this cola syrup has nothing to do with a certain black beverage that is known the world over. In fact, not only does the black beverage have anything to do with my cola syrup, it has nothing on my cola syrup. Okay. So as for me, I am going to list all the ingredients in the information box below the video for your convenience. So without further ado, let us continue. You. Okay guys, so in this pot, I am going to add one kilogram of sugar, like this. To that, I'm gonna add a liter and a half of water. Just like that. Now we're gonna give this a nice stir. And we're gonna bring this to a boil. See, the sugar is completely dissolved. And in about a couple of minutes, it will start to bubble up. So as you can see, it is starting to bubble up nicely. What we're gonna do, we're gonna turn down the heat and we're gonna allow this to cook down for 25 minutes to a half an hour. And the reason you do that is because you wanna make sure that all the liquid, all the fluid, you wanna make sure that it's completely evaporated. Otherwise, if you pour the syrup into your bottle, the sugar will sink to the bottom and it will look crazy, all right? You will not have syrup, you will have sugar at the bottom and water at the top, and that is not what you want. That's the timer. So it's been about a half an hour, you guys. We are now going to turn off the heat and we're gonna allow this to cool down completely. Okay guys, so the syrup has cooled down completely. What we're gonna add next is a teaspoon of citric acid and you wanna start with a teaspoon, you guys. You can always add more depending on how tangy you want it to taste. So there we go. And uh, look at me, I'm measuring. Oh yeah. Now let's give that a stir. And you wanna stir until the citric acid is completely dissolved. And don't forget to keep on tasting your syrup, you guys, every time you add citric acid to it, because what you want is a nice balance between the sweetness of the sugar and the slight tartness of the citric acid. You're not making lemonade, keep that in mind. Let's give that another taste. Ooh, it's getting there, but it's not quite there yet. I think another teaspoon of citric acid would do the trick. And the reason I'm making this in this pot is because you can actually see the sugar. It's very transparent. Had I made this in one of my black pots, you wouldn't see anything. Because next what we're going to add are the, um, is the coloring, you know, the strawberry essence and the cola essence. So, um, I want you to see the color of the syrup once it's all done. And you won't see any color if I, you know, had I done this in one of my black pots. Okay, guys, what I have here is some strawberry essence and the cola essence. They're both red, and um, I'm just going to add both because I like the taste of the strawberry and the cola essence together. We're gonna start with that one just a little bit. And then we're gonna add the cola essence. Like so. We're gonna give that a nice stir. See? And you can smell it too, you guys. My goodness, it smells so delicious. This reminds me of my native country. My goodness, my mother used to make this all the time. My grandmother too, by the way. And those two women have really taught me how to cook. 
my mom and my grandmother. Now you guys, the syrup is very light in color, as you can see. It's pinkish, when instead it should be dark red. But that is because I made this with white sugar. Had I made this with brown sugar, it would have been darker. Some people add a pinch of this food coloring, and I think I'm gonna try that. And a little bit goes a long way, so I'm only gonna add this amount there. Now let's give that a stir, and as you can see, it is a little darker. That is the color that I want. Oh, baby. And keep on stirring, you guys. You have to stir this very, very thoroughly. Baby, when I tell you my syrup is perfect, you have got to believe me. And I will tell you if it's not good because not everything that I cook or prepare is a success. <laughs> All right, now let me pour this into a nice bottle and I'll show you what it looks like when I'm all done. All right, now let's pour the syrup into this bottle. And there you have it, you guys, your delicious homemade Surinamese cola syrup. And now for the final serving suggestion, you guys, you pour a little bit of the syrup into your glass and then you dilute this with water and then you add some ice cubes to your delicious syrup there we go and there you have it you guys so basically what you do you add a little bit of the syrup to your glass you dilute that with some water you give it a nice stir and you may choose to serve it with or without some ice cubes upon which you take your delicious cola syrup and you plant your tuchas under the mango tree, or under the tamarind tree, or under the guava tree. Yes, girl, and you enjoy it. Yes, me, I'm speaking my Caribbean accent now to all you. Oh, yeah. Now, you guys, if you're interested in one of these t-shirts, make sure to visit my t-shirt store. The link will be posted below because we frequently have coupon codes on free shipping or buy two, get one free, that sort of thing, all right? So don't miss out. These are all original designs. Yes, so go check them out. The link is posted below, as I just mentioned. And before I go, I just want to say thank you all for subscribing to my YouTube channel. It has been a journey, and the journey is ongoing. I don't take your subscription for granted, all right? Now, if you decide to try to make this delicious cola syrup from my country, the Republic of Suriname, shout out to my people in Suriname! Yes! If you decide to make this syrup, let me know how it turned out because I'm always interested in hearing from you, all right? In the meantime, do be well, take care, happy cooking, happy eating. Don't add crazy to the craziness because there's a lot of crazy shit going on in the world. Don't add to that, all right? Be well, and I will see you when I see you. Thank you for watching. Have a good one, you guys. Bye.